top tips for a craft fair. The thing with craft fairs is, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm trying to think from like a two-sided way, right? Because I go to a lot of craft fairs because that's, that's, that's my thing. That's what I do, right? I go to a lot of craft fairs and it's a very fine line because I find that there are a lot of people who will kind of sit behind their booth and they won't interact with you. Like the maker will just be sat there on their on their phone, just like mm -hmm, not looking very approachable. And I mean that in the nicest way. I know you guys might be like your feet might be killing you and it might be a long day. But I think a smile goes a long way. And just saying, hi, morning, or how are you? Or your scarf's lovely. I think you can, there's, there's that end of the spectrum. And then you can go the other way. And I went to a craft fair a couple of weeks ago where the, where the maker was really pushy, like really pushy. And this is coming from someone who used to work from a high, work at a high street jewelers where you actually had customer interaction KPIs that you had to hit. Right. So I think sitting in between that bracket is a really, really good thing interact with them ask them what they're looking for ask them what kind of thing they want and just maybe even do it from a place of look I, you know like I've got lots of stuff behind here that you can't see is there anything I can help you with um if you want me to show you how it's how, how it's made or how to use it it does depend on what exactly you sell um but it, it can be really cool to just invite the person into the process like I said, it's a whole different kettle of fish when you're just walking around endless, endless, endless amounts of booths versus, okay, I want to actually know how this is done and how and how this is made. Yeah, I have got a video <laughs> talking all about craft fairs. I think as well, it's really important that you find the right ones. So my friend did a craft, I wouldn't even say it was a craft fair, it was like a craft event at the local uni just before Christmas time. And she was like, it was awful. Like it was horrible. No one bought. People were just like, yeah, it's nice. And just kind of walking away like this, right? It's really important to find the right craft fairs with the right target market. Every single craft fair has their own target market. And it's really important that you find yours.